I'm so thankful you have a few moments to join us here on this Thursday of the Word of Encouragement. Today, when you listen to many Christian prophetic speakers, as you listen to conservative pundits, you get a lot of good information about what's happening internationally and in our country. And these things are very real. We're seeing the groundwork for the fulfillment of prophecy being laid everywhere. How that we are living in a world that is that is just unified in its anti-God perspective. I was talking to our Jewish guide on the Bible Lands trip that we recently had, and we were talking about some of the issues of our day. And he says, you know, it's not just in America and in Israel. It's around the world. And he's right. And we see all of this. And it's very easy for us to uh, just feel weighted down with all the negative information. But I want to remind you, the whole center of the study of Revelation is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ wins. Everything that we're going through, God knows about. And he's allowing Satan to coordinate all that's going on so that Satan can cause the will of God to be accomplished. That's what happened at the crucifixion. They would not have done that if they knew that their heads were going to be crushed because of what Christ did and the victory that he won on the cross. But as we look at the book of Revelation, we see over and over the exaltation of the Lamb of God. And one such place is chapter 14 of Revelation, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion. Here you see Jesus uh, spiritually empowering those who are saved during the tribulation. Uh, he is active. He is working. All is not lost. And then you have the 144,000 young men that are going to be a witness. And there are going to be many saved in the tribulation. Uh, it's an amazing reality. And there's going to be a lot of suffering for the cause of Christ. But you see the Lamb take the field just as he does right now on our behalf. And though the world seems to be so strong and they mock him and we feel so weak. We need to understand that Jesus is the Lamb of God, the powerful one who rules and will be given the title deed for the entire universe. Jesus Christ rules and reigns right now. And in the spiritual realm, we can count on him to work. And even though we may be discouraged by what we hear as we see things coming together, um, we should be anticipating the coming of the Lord, and we should also be very fervent in taking the time that we have to cause, uh, to allow the Lamb of God to have his way in our life so that he can accomplish his purpose. But I encourage you, look at Jesus Christ through the book of Revelation. Remember, it's the revelation of Jesus Christ. And you'll realize we're never alone. He's working. We're okay. All things are happening just as he said he would uh, cause them to happen. And so may we as God's people live confident, encouraged, joyful lives looking to the Lamb of God.